My name is Ade Ajibulu. I worked at the Hammersmith and Fulham branch of Wilmot Dixon Partnership. Uh, I'm a multi trade person, uh, do most of them not carpentry and plumbing. I'm equally qualified in all the trades like plastering and plumbing. The Dekamele project is uh, a project based in Togo, uh, Lome. Um, it was an humanitarian project uh, sponsored by Wilmot Dixon. And what we did there was to help the community build a, a clinic for the purpose, for the use of the community. I got involved in the Decamil project uh, through the application that was sent to our branch, understand, from the head office. Uh, when I saw this application, I indicated my interest, the willingness to work understand for the help of others and they uh, were subsequently selected after which uh, we met at the head office for briefing and that was the time I met with my colleagues who were supposed to be on the trip with me there were three other guys John Sarintin, Clive Jarrett and Lincoln Thomas. The people in the village are Gome Siva are very wonderful people very hospitable very friendly both young and old even though French was in our own language, we, we speak English, but uh, uh, we're still able to communicate <laughs> that little bit of knowledge of French. I think the project has done a great deal to alleviate the suffering of the people. Health is wealth, they say. Health is very crucial to any community, let alone village, where there was absolutely nothing. But we're able to give them that clinic, because I understand um, there is there's a lot of cases of home delivery. In the past, people used to deliver their babies at home. Understand? So I haven't built them that hospital. Though they have a small hospital, but it got to a time where it couldn't cope in terms of the capacity. So the clinic we built for the community has helped them a great deal. And these people were able to they, they feel very, very humble and happy about it. There's absolutely no doubt about that project in my mind will leave a lasting legacy and the reason for that is there will be more children born in that hospital now. Already that hospital has attracted a number of more staff than ever before. So there are more qualified personnel, medical personnel, more nurses and more children, more capacity in terms of bed spaces. And we're just great. We're happy, we're delighted that we've been part of that legacy. It's going, it's going very well in Togo since we came back um, because uh, we do get regular updates from Rod, uh, who has who has returned there. I think on in two different occasions, twice he's been back there. Remember when we left there, the hospital wasn't completely finished. There was still bits and pieces to be done. Uh, after we left, the months after the uh, the hospital was commissioned and he has started, he has seen that functioning well. And um, we, we do get in touch. Some of, some of the guys that work there, even the villagers, they, they had our numbers. And funny enough, they still send us texts. Some of them phone us. And they, they, they're still happy. They express their appreciation, their thanks for what we have done. And uh, we, we, we also feel happy too that that has been the case. And, uh, we, we, we're even thinking of the next opportunity, understand, to go to, if not to go to somewhere else, because all of us felt we have done something marvelously well, and we would love to do that again. On behalf of myself and my team, uh, that's the team of four, like we usually call ourselves, I want to express an heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to Wilmot Dixon Partnerships for what they have done for us the skills, the training, the qualification, and the experience we have gained over the years through them, having worked for them. I want to say a big thank you. Without them, this humanitarian project couldn't have happened. And we're immensely proud and grateful to Wilmot Dixon for what they have done for us and what we have been able in return to do for Togo, uh, a Gomez Siva community. Thank you, Wilmot Dixon.
We appreciate it.